Hi, I'm Dan Emmert, field agronomist with Pioneer in Southwest Indiana, and today I'm going to talk about fungicide applications in soybeans. Many growers apply fungicides to soybeans every year because they see a consistent yield benefit. In a Pioneer study conducted around fungicide timing, we've seen a 3.7 bushel yield response to applying fungicides at R3. If you go too early or too late, you could be giving up over a bushel of yield according to that study. So the number one question is, what is R3? Well, first you need to take a look at your plants. I'll just pull some up here. And what we're gonna do is, first off, you find your top node. Okay, so we've got our top node here. Look at all these flowers. One, two, three, four. Within any of these four nodes, if we find any pods that are 3 16 of an inch long or larger, we're at R3. Now, if within that top four nodes you find a pod that's actually three quarters of an inch long, you've missed it. You're too late and you're at R4 and you've given up over a bushel of yield according to that study we talked about. Why is R3 so important? Well, if you take a look at these plants, you can see we've got pods that are developing, we've got blooms, and everything in between. So at that R3 growth stage, that plant is under tremendous stress to produce seeds for the next generation. That's why we see such a big benefit from a fungicide at R3. The second thing to think about with that fungicide is that frog eye leaf spot has been confirmed as being resistant to strobilurin fungicides in Indiana and across other parts of the Midwest. What does that mean? Don't use a single mode of action fungicide. Use something with a triazole and a strobilurin like Approach Prima. The third thing to consider would be to include an insecticide with your fungicide as well. We're seeing heavy Japanese beetle pressure this year. You can see some feeding on some of these leaves. Um, and in our studies, what we've seen is that we go from a 2.6 bushel benefit from a fungicide alone to a 5.3 bushel benefit where we add an insecticide in with that fungicide at R3, as well as an increased consistency of seeing a positive yield response. So there you have it. If you're considering a fungicide application this year, one, make sure it's at R3, Two, make sure it's a dual mode of action. And three, consider adding an insecticide to that tank as well. Thanks for watching and good luck with your soybeans this year. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.